we visited Tim Stockdale's base in Northamptonshire. Another fantastic operation with all the facilities to produce international show jumpers to the very, very top of their game. Tim Stockdale himself, as many know, was out due to injury last season, but is now back in the saddle and one of the riders that helped keep the string on the road, Megan James. Can we do that again, Megan? Lovely. Keep him turning. OK, good girl. Megan seen here on Toymaker and Tim Stockdale back in the saddle on the equine mountain that is Fresh Direct K2. Huge jumping horse, but the horse that's really taken him to international success most recently is King George winner, Calico Bay. Seen here working the horse, it's not just about the athletic jump of the horse, but at this level, also keeping the horse at peak fitness. The difficulty we face with our sport is getting the horses to be as prepared for the big occasion as the ride is. And that's a skill on its own. You've got to have a, a lot of feel for that. Confidence is obviously a major thing and shows up and down the country and on the continent help prepare for the big league. Some people go to Spain, America. I'm intending to go to Italy for four weeks to have a run of shows where we can get to match fitness, almost like a row of friendlies. But we mustn't overdo that to the point of our horses are then sick of jumping and they are aching and sore because they're jumping too much. They're not machines. So it's a real balance. And once you get that peak performance, maintaining it is again a whole different skill which requires a lot of teamwork from everybody concerned and that's why I'm very lucky in that I've got a, a fabulous team behind me with, that help with the maintenance of the horses and the horses programs and the basic day-to-day -day work to keep the horses in the best condition. You're only as good as the horse that you sat on shore but the team behind really is the difference between winning and losing. Very good. I like Lucy. Yeah. Have you got any more of these? When you talk about winning, you know, for me, it's it's the team. The team's the most important thing. Uh, the influence I get the most from is Formula One. If you look at everything they do, is looking at the smallest detail. Everybody has a vital part to play within that team aspect. Um, the excellence that every member of that team has is second to none and that's something we try to create here and one of the things as well I'm very big on is that um, you know when you go to some stable yards it's dirty and there's mud everywhere and for me I want this to be like a Formula One uh, setup that everything's clean and professional as it can be and everybody looks like they're totally knowing what they're doing. As we can see not just the international horses here but horses for the future a big string with a big future what about some of them? Okay, this is a four-year-old stallion, uh, just broken in, just started his jumping. He's by Air Jordan. Um, I think the world of him, I think he's, he's phenomenal when he jumps. It's just unbelievable. He gives everything like a metre and a half. It's, uh, it's an exhibition when he jumps, so I've got really high hopes for him. So he's a horse called Abelardo Z, and I think he's the one to watch for the future. Okay, this is a five-year-old. He's by Action Breaker. Um, we bought him as a four-year-old. I think he's really, really good. He's very careful, he's very athletic, and probably not as exuberant a jumper, um, but he's a, a real careful horse, and he's very, very smart, very intelligent. And his name in the ring is Heathrow. So we call him, we call him Jet, and he's by, he's by Action Breaker, which is a very good, good style at the moment. This is a horse called Cardigan Z, that's his, that's his ring name, but at home we call him Parker, because if you look, he's got quite a, a little bit of a big nose there, so we call him Nosy Parker. Um, he's an eight-year-old this year and really talented. I mean, I think this horse is a, a, a fabulous horse. He's a little bit small, so probably going to suit more of a girl, but I think he's a top horse for a girl rider. 